Hello everybody and welcome back to Blue Jay Acres. My name is Noelle. Thank you so much for stopping by. So where have we been and what's been going on? First of all, I want to thank you guys for all of your patience and understanding during this time. Um, a quick update. My mother just had her last chemo. I did post that on Instagram, but on my Noelle's Big Family Life Instagram. Um, that's where I post. If I post something which isn't that often, Charles does the Blue Jay Acres Instagram. But I posted a little video of her ringing the bell because she did it. She made it through. So I want to thank you guys so much for all your prayers. She does have surgery on the 10th of October. And then she will have to do radiation after that. So all is doing much better there. She is not feeling good this week. But that should be her last week of not feeling good through the chemo. Which is wonderful. Um, as far as Ronnie goes... We're still figuring it out, you guys. It's been crazy. She's still sick. She's been sick now for months. Um, we went to Children's Hospital again. Um, we did see the GI doctor. And they are doing a test on um, October. I think it's the 3rd is for her. We're going to do a slow digestion test. So she's going to go on an empty stomach. And then they are going to feed her there. They said some eggs and some toast and some juice and then they will take a series of x-rays and watch the food go through her body as it's being digested to see if it is a slow or delayed digestion. And they said that could have happened just because she got some kind of virus and that would just be take some pills and get it up, you know, get over it and get better. Um, so that's that would be better than some of the other alternatives they don't feel like it's celiac but they're not ruling it out yet they said if that doesn't work then we schedule a colonoscopy and they're going to check they said we can check for ibs celiac any of that type of stuff and and just really see what's going on inside and we'll be able to tell so fingers crossed it's just a slow digestion and because everything else that they've tried has not worked they do not feel like it's just nerves. They said high school kids when they come in and it's nerves, it's a, they get sick when they wake up and it gets better throughout the day where she gets worse throughout the day. So that's why they're thinking slow digestion because she wakes up, she's a little nauseous, but every time she eats like piles on the nausea and by the end of the day, she's very sick. So she uh, has only had to come home though a couple times from school. She does. Uh, do good about trying to manage until she gets home from school she just doesn't eat much at school so that's where we are with what's been going on there so again thank you guys so much for all of your prayers and your patience and understanding it's just been a lot going on here on top of that we had tomatoes coming out of our ears <laughs> we had so many tomatoes I don't ever want to see another tomato <laughs> I'm kidding we'll do it all again next year but I canned and I canned and canned so many tomatoes it's insane um, I made ketchup I made salsa and I just did so much canning and I still have freezers full literally two of my freezers are full of tomatoes and we still have some on the vine so that is what's been going on there we also have Miss Belle our dairy cow she is about to have her baby so she's showing all the signs, so we got to get the barn ready and get her stall ready and get her moved up to the stall because in the next, well, she could go as early as this weekend or as late as a month from now. So we're super excited about the new baby arriving. And yeah, that's, I think that pretty much brings you up to date on everything that's going on around here. Also, real quick, I wanted to thank for this beautiful gift box from Hawaii. Now I got this about a month ago, but of course I haven't posted, so I was not able to say thank you. So I saved all the empty boxes because most of it's gone, <laughs> but I wanted to share with you guys. Um, these are some chocolate chip uh, shortbread cookies. They were delicious. Everybody loved them, and she sent me the prettiest note. And here is some um, just regular shortbread cookies. Everybody loved them. She sent two boxes of this uh, macadamia nut chocolate academia nuts everybody loved it <laughs> um i haven't used these yet because i was making sure that i waited until i said thank you so some oven mitts are just precious and 
some little containers and some mochico I guess that's how you say it is to make mochi I'm assuming a sweet rice flour love it and then two of these golden curry packets which we have not used yet I was waiting until I was filming again to do that some furikake um, she just said to use this sparingly that is very strong I'm excited for that some low sodium soy sauce um, which I'm excited to try that I've not opened that yet a couple really cute spoons I love my wooden type spoons so and those look like them and then least this Hawaiian teriyaki sauce let me see if it's gonna zoom in for you guys and um, this I kid you not this there it goes this sauce is the best teriyaki sauce I've ever had I love this stuff <laughs> this is so good thank you so much it's already as you can see like down to here <laughs> I love it so I just wanted to do a quick thank you so much all right, that being said, let's jump into a full day of what we're eating. Um, we are still high whole food plant-based. We are not vegan. We are not fully whole food plant-based. We have meat a few times a week. We have eggs here and there. Um, dairy, we do have a little once in a blue moon. Um, Ronnie, we really didn't see any difference taking dairy away from her. It didn't really help or anything. Um, but it's not something we eat regular and yeah, I think that that sums it up. So this was a full whole food plant-based day that we ate today. So we did not have any meat or animal products of any kind. However, it was quite tasty and delicious and I'm excited to share it all with you guys. We made some wonderful, wonderful food. So let's go on and jump into breakfast. Okay. So for the cinnamon apple, uh, waffles. We are going to start with some Granny Smith apples. I'm just going to chop these up real quick. Okay, now to this, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm also going to add a little bit of blackstrap molasses. Some maple syrup. A little vanilla. And some cinnamon. And now I'm just going to cook this. I'm actually going to move it to my back burner back here. And I'm going to cook that on a medium heat. Just stir it all up. I'm going to let this just cook on medium until this gets all nice and soft. And we're going to let that happen while we're making the um, waffles. I'm going to start with a cup of old-fashioned rolled oats, a half a cup of this cinnamon applesauce, it's so thick, um, I just I can this, it's beautiful, it does have sugar in it, it's got good cinnamon in it, so I'm going to do a half a cup of that. A little salt, a little vanilla. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of this almond butter. The only ingredients in it is almonds, dry roasted almonds. That's it. About three fourths cup of soy milk. half teaspoon of baking powder then I am just going to stir this up in the blender and blend it up if you wanted to use unsweetened applesauce instead of a sweetened cinnamon applesauce then what I would do is I would use unsweetened but I would add some cinnamon and a little maple syrup to the batter or 
some sugar or coconut sugar or whatever it is you like as a sweetener. I would add just a little bit of that cinnamon or even apple pie spice, something like that to the batter um, and just use a half a cup of unsweetened um, applesauce. Also, if you did not want to use soy milk, you could use whatever kind of milk you like, almond milk, regular milk, whatever it is you like. I like the soy milk because it's really good and creamy. And I like that it's only soy. That's it. The only ingredients is soybeans and water. And I like that. So that's why we use that. While we're waiting for that, I'll just show you real quick how these apples are coming along. They're coming along beautifully. If you don't want them to be really mushy, then I would stop cooking them now. Um, if you want them a little mushier, you can just taste them and see how it is you want. If you want them softer, then make them softer. Waiting on this to heat up. Oh, it just did. It said ready. So I've got this non-stick spray here. I'm going to spray that. And then just gonna start putting in my batter all right so the lights on it's ready I'm going to pull this off of here and put my other pancake on and put my other waffle on here and then I'll make up another batch because that batch really just serves one Okay, so here is how I would serve it, or I'm going to serve it. If I had some uh, whipped cream, I would top it with that as well. And then just do um, a little dash of cinnamon on top of that to make it just really pretty. But I'm going to top it with some syrup. And then a pile of the apples right in the middle. And then just a little drizzle of that apple syrup as well. So that it's not overpowering the molasses flavor, but just enough. And then that would be very pretty with a little dollop of whipped cream and cinnamon. And then the other thing um, that would be really good, and what we're gonna have is cranberry juice to drink with this. So I canned a bunch of cranberry juice last year and we need to use it up because it's almost cranberry season and it's the perfect fall drink. So here it is, a perfect fall breakfast and I'll get Charles to taste test this for you guys. So beautiful. I cannot wait for breakfast. Okay, so here is Charles to do a quick taste test. I'm gonna grab a butter knife real quick. The benefit of a small kitchen, everything's in reach. <laughs> That's your benefit. And you see the boys had cinnamon rolls. They haven't had it in a while, so we it was a treat. We had a pink, or a waffle. I really do know these are waffles. Let's see. You gotta get some apple on it. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. Mm. I think I'm told you you had to get the apple on it. <laughs> He's in the middle of a meeting. Mm -hmm. Taste your cranberry juice. You like cranberry sauce, you can like cranberry juice. It's good for you. Oh, we are getting some much needed rain. That's the stuff I canned last year. You can the rain? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Kate and I love it. If you like cranberry juice, it's very good. No, it's not bitter. It's mm -mm. not too sweet. 
Mm -hmm. very we smooth. played with it to get it just right last year. Yeah, it's a very smooth blend. Up, I gotta get this last waffle off. <laughs> All right, you guys, and now for lunch. And telling you, I just, we had a great day of food today. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for lunch. And this is a lunch that I have been massively obsessed with. And it starts off with some kale and steaming that. So I'm gonna take my steamer basket. And I'm gonna put in my kale. And I'm gonna get that nice and steamed. While that's steaming, I'm gonna heat up or toast up some of the sourdough bread. I'm also gonna be using some cherry tomatoes from my garden. Uh, we are at the end of our garden, but I do still have some tomatoes out there. So I will probably eat this as long as I have fresh tomatoes because it's so good. It is better with my kale for my garden, but I'm out of that. So now I have to use store-bought. Okay, so now I have this all toasted. I'm gonna show you first Charles. He is gonna have this leftover chickpea loaf that we made the other day. And we're gonna turn that into a sandwich, kind of like a meatloaf, but it's made with chickpeas. And just have it cold. And he's got this toasted bread. So that's his sandwich. My sandwich is gonna be some just plain hummus. I just bought it at the store, plain old hummus. Put a layer of that. Mine will be open face, so it won't have a top on it. So it just starts with some hummus. I'm still waiting on my kale to finish, so I'm gonna go on. And give Charles his lunch. Just cut his sandwich in half. And that is his sandwich with the big pieces of the loaf in it. Hey, you want to come taste test or you want me to just bring it to you? Um, I can come taste test. All right, so he is going to taste for you guys his sandwich. He actually had this yesterday, too. He said it was really good. Mm -hmm. He actually was a fan of this chickpea loaf, and I, I was not. <laughs> and for me, it just it was too mushy, but he said it's wonderful as a sandwich. So when it's cold, it firms up more, so it's not really mushy but it just has a really good consistency as a sandwich. Okay. Yeah. Hey. I love it that you love it. <laughs> I do. It's really good. Alright. Go eat yours. We're waiting on my kale. You want kale on yours? <laughs> <laughs> That's a there's, no. There's no way in kale I want it. <laughs> Alright. We're waiting on my kale. Okay. Next, I'm going to top it with steamed kale, this kale is still hot because <laughs> it just got done steaming. Then I'm just gonna top it with my cherry tomatoes. This would also be a beautiful Christmas dish or if you did like small pieces, a Christmas hors d'oeuvre kind of thing. It's so good. And then the secret key ingredient is balsamic glaze. And the glaze that makes it really sweet and tangy all at the same time, it really needs to be the glaze, not just a balsamic vinegar. And then that just goes over top like that. A 
this then is my lunch and it is so 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 delicious all right next is dinner and I kind of went with fall food today and because this was just a very rainy day and it just felt very fall so everything was just kind of fall food so here's dinner all right so now we're gonna go on and start with our dessert now, I have not made this before so hopefully it turns out good if it doesn't then I won't share the recipe but I've seen a lot of recipes with this kind of stuff so I'm gonna see how it turns out I'm gonna start with one 15 ounce can well this is 15 and a half ounce can of chickpeas then you want three fourths cup of oats a half cup of pure maple syrup a tablespoon of vanilla a half a teaspoon of cinnamon one teaspoon of baking powder about a half a teaspoon of salt if you're using unsalted peanut butter which I am if you're not using unsalted peanut butter then a half a teaspoon I'm sorry a quarter a teaspoon of salt then we're gonna do two-thirds cup of this creamy peanut butter like I said I have a no salt added so there's one third I'm going to add a third a cup of soy milk. Okay, and then we're just going to mix this all up. Just want to stop and scrape down our sides. And then we're going to let this run for about two minutes. Okay, next we're going to add in some chocolate chips, about a third cup. Um, we use Enjoy Life chocolate chips, and I'm just going to stir that in here. Okay, and then here I have my cast iron skillet. I just sprayed it with some nonstick spray, or you could grease it up with some oil if you wanted. And I'm gonna spread in my cookie batter. And this is gonna bake at 350 degrees. I've had it preheating. And then we're gonna check it in about 20 minutes because it says you do not want to overcook it. Or it will get very dry. So just spread this out. If you have a more powerful um, food processor, you probably get an even smoother cookie dough. <laughs> but Mine is not super powerful. Okay. Then on the top, I'm just gonna sprinkle a few more chocolate chips. And 
and this now right here is ready to go into the oven and bake. Okay, so here it is out of the oven. We're gonna let this cool while we start making dinner. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just heat up my pan here. To my pan, I'm gonna add one small diced onion. I'm gonna add two uh, very small red peppers, diced small, or you could use a half of a regular red pepper. Or you could use two jalapenos. Um, just seed them if you don't like it spicy. I just don't want to go out in the rain and get jalapenos out of my garden right now, or I would be using that. I'm also going to add some minced garlic. And we are making a corn chowder. And we're going to serve this corn chowder in some bread bowls. I know it's very dark here. That's <laughs> because it's just a rainy day. So sorry about that. But that's just how my kitchen is today. So I'm going to saute this for a few minutes. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of turmeric. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. If you have fresh cracked pepper, that would be even better. My pepper mill is not working good, so I don't really fresh, fresh cracked pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna add in, you would add five cups of vegetable broth, but I do not have vegetable broth, so I'm gonna add five cups of water. And then I'm gonna just add some bouillon to that as well. And then just stir that up. I'm also gonna add a little bit of soy sauce to this. Okay, here is one potato. I'm gonna add about four Yukon Gold potatoes or yellow potatoes. And then I have three cups of frozen corn. And we're just gonna stir that up. I am also gonna add one bay leaf to this. And get this up to a boil. Okay, while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna throw these in the oven. All I did was cut the center out of the bread bowl. They're just here with the top. And I'm gonna give it a light spray with this theater style <laughs> popcorn seasoning spray. This is like my go-to. It's not healthy at all, but it's what I like to use when I'm just trying to make something taste like a little bit buttery. So I'm gonna put these in the oven with some of that spray on them and let these get nice and toasty while that's cooking. Let's get this a stir. We're gonna just let this come up to a boil and let these potatoes cook until they are tender. And then I'll show you what else we're gonna do. All right, so now the potatoes are tender. So now what you could do in here is I'm gonna use a cup of raw cashews. You could definitely just add a can of full fat coconut cream or coconut milk, but uh, Charles does not like coconut flavoring of anything, so I am just gonna make make it with raw cashews. So a cup of raw cashews, and then I am gonna do a half a cup of nutritional yeast as well. If you are not uh, plant-based or you don't care about, or you want dairy, you could do, uh, just top it with regular cheese, that would be good too. I'm going to add about two cups of this mixture. I'm trying to make sure I don't get the bay leaf. I need to find it. Up oh, there it is. That got mixed up. <laughs> and a little bit of this here. All right, and then I'm going to mix this up to get this good and creamy. I'm going to add this back to my pot. Hot 
soup. And just stir this all together so it'll be good and creamy. And then we just want to taste it for salt and pepper. Oh, it's so good. It does not need any salt or pepper. And now our bread bowls are coming out. They look beautiful. So now I'm gonna put this all together. Then we're just gonna pour this corn chowder in here. Okay, and then for me and Kate, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut milk on top. Then I'm going to top it with some green onions. And a little sprinkle of smoked paprika. All right, so this is dinner tonight, and it looks so good. I was going to do a salad with it, but I'm not doing that, I guess, tonight. We're just going to have the soup. Okay, and then I wanted to show you guys this cookie. Oh! The tip just broke off, but this is what the cookie looks like, if you guys can see. It was really, really good. I am surprised. Okay, what do you want to try first? The cookie? Or the... Well, I want to try the cookie first. Or the chowder. But I, I won't try the cookie first. You want to try the chowder first? What do we have going on here? Oh, that's just the top? Yeah. Oh, it's like a little pumpkin. <laughs> it's, it's good when I made it last time, I did serve it to you guys that way. Okay, here's the question I have. I can taste it, but can I cut the bread with this wooden spoon? No. I but just, so. everybody knows bread is delicious. That is going to be hot. Your brown, your cookie, not so much. Your big skillet cookie. <laughs> so you can see all the say, The steam is just coming off of it. I really liked it, so I'm anxious to see if you like it. Because you are not a soup and stew person. But I think it's really, really good. It even tastes like there's bacon in it without any bacon in it. Okay. It gets a double thumbs up, but it needs about another 10, 15 minutes to cool. <laughs> yes. Well, I know. I say but that doesn't just it taste when it's so hot you don't get the full flavor because right. it's just so hot. But doesn't it taste meaty? Like it's got bacon or something in it? I, I think it does. Well that's good <laughs> you are eating it. That's your dinner. <laughs> no, it's very good. Alright, try your very good. try your brownie. It does need to cool in all seriousness though. Or your cookie. It's a cookie. It's called a skillet cookie. Is it a cookie or a brownie? It's a cookie. It's called a skillet peanut butter chocolate cookie. It tastes really good even after I brought my taste buds on that. What do you think's in that? Dates? Nope. No? No. It's maple syrup. It's the sweetener. Mm. What do you think is the consistency though? 
Hmm. I'm gonna blend my. Breath. You will never know. You'll never know because I tried it, and you'll never know. I think there's oats. There is oats. Do you have like nutritional yeast in it? No. <laughs> Put that on everything though. It's made of chickpeas. Oh, it's made out of chickpeas. Well, beans. But you can't taste. I, mean, I still like the meatloaf that was made out of that. You're right. It, but you can't that. taste that it's beans. And I was actually scanning the kitchen looking for what you still had sitting out. I, I saw left the nothing. oats back there. And nutritional yeast. Yeah, and nutritional yeast. <laughs> so I was cheating. But you can't tell it's made but of beans case, at all, can you? So that'd be like a protein cookie. Cheaters still prosper. It is so good. You had no clue there were beans in it. Hmm. It's, it's, I'm shocked. I was afraid it was going to be disgusting. I was going to say beans, but then I thought that would sound really stupid to say <laughs> beans, but it really does have beans. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up. We're going to go have some hmm. dinner and dessert. So, yes. And this is really good. You guys, those that, really yeah, those that will ask where the protein is, it's in dessert tonight. <laughs> That's where it is. <laughs> you eat your dessert and get lots of protein. <laughs> All right. Let's see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great day or night, wherever you are.